So what actually is cholesterol? Curiously enough, for all its negative press, it's an organic molecule that's essential for all animals. It's needed to maintain the structural form of cell membranes, and it has a role in synthesizing other essential chemicals that the body needs. The easiest way to summarize cholesterol is that it's basically a combination of a fat molecule and an alcohol molecule containing a lot of carbon and hydrogen. Because cholesterol is essential for the body function, the human body can actually create it from simpler molecules. However, it's also in many foods, especially those based upon animals or animal fat. So cheese, eggs, beef, pork, fish, among those sources of cholesterol in the diet. Isn't your body has cholesterol, but how much and where it is that's the key to good health? So what is this good cholesterol and bad cholesterol that people talk about? Well, good cholesterol is actually high density lipoprotein, or HDL. And bad cholesterol is LDL, or low density lipoprotein. You can see why the terms good and bad are actually used. HDL actually though transports the cholesterol around the body. But most importantly, it moves it from the cells and artery walls and tissues and takes it to the liver and other locations for other uses. Whereas LDL does the opposite, depositing the cholesterol in places like artery walls where it can potentially increase the risk of things like heart attacks and strokes. So it's this transport mechanism that HDL and LDL are responsible for, not the cholesterol actually itself. They actually move a great many other fat molecules around the body as well as cholesterol. Now trans fats appear to be an issue because they reduce the amount of HDL operating while at the same time increasing the amount of LDL. And the reason statins appear to work in helping with cholesterol is they opposite, work in the opposite way by reducing the number of LDL molecules operating in the body. But what they actually don't do is reduce or remove the levels of fat or cholesterol from the body, just limit the amount being deposited in vulnerable areas. There's some other things which inhibit LDL production or their action, but many as they are unproven track records or they have bad side effects. So if you don't want to take pills to reduce your risk, what should you do? Well, it comes down to the two standard methods, eating a balanced diet, probably including reducing the amount of things like cheese and bacon that you eat, at the same time increasing the amount of exercise you do. If you want to try some dietary options which may help you, you could try green tea, flax seeds and peanuts, which may either slow cholesterol absorption into the body or reduce the LDL levels. So that's cholesterol.